Hello, 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 and welcome back to my page. Uh, in the comments I had asked on my first video, uh, if you would be interested in knowing more about my Montserrat collection. As of right now, I do have 11. Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about five of them that I do have, and then at the end, I'm going to tell you about four fragrances that's by Montserrat that I have my eye out for, I just haven't yet purchased. Uh, if that is something you'll be interested in, then stay tuned. All right, let's get into it. The first one is one that a lot of people talk about, and that is Velvet Vanilla. Um, I feel this one here is probably in many people's collections. It is the first go-to for Montserrat. It is the first one that I think that, uh, one of the first, should I say, that people gravitate to. Um, it's an easy fragrance by Monsera. I feel that people would truly enjoy it. Um, I find myself where I wear this one mostly when I want to smell Gourmand. Um, I use it to layer also. One of the fascinating things for me actually is the uh, magnetic top. So I try to find the uh, bottles that have the magnetic top. But this particular fragrance here is magnolia, is pear, is clove, is pink pepper, uh, black currant, rose, jasmine, neroli, tuberose, vanilla, and white musk. It's it's really good. Um, I you get a lot of jasmine in this fragrance. Um, I would not say that this is unisex. In my opinion, I would not say it's unisex because it's very heavy and intense on the vanilla, and that is velvet vanilla. Okay, and the next one is Wild Fruits. This is my go-to layering fragrance. I layer this fragrance with anything that I want to give a fruity note to. It is just delicious. The opening is citrus, and then the heart of the fragrance is 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 fruit. Just think fruit. Think tropical fruit. Um, uh, it's not aquatic fruit, so it's not your watermelons and peaches and pears and stuff like that. Well, to me, I get a lot of berry-type fruit. Um, I wish it had blueberry. I think that would have made it over the top. But anyway, let's get back to the point. It has, it's a berry, it's a fruity fragrance. This one here, you can combine with anything that you want to add a fruity note. If you have a fragrance that you want to get a little more of the peach, in that fragrance then combine it with this here you have a fragrance that you just want to give it more of a fruity nuance then add this one this one the, the head of the fragrance or the opening of this fragrance is citrus then it goes into violets and then it says a basket of fruits right so that's where all the fruits come from it doesn't list it out like tell you if it's peaches blackberry blueberry or whatever but it's a basket of fruits uh, you get black currant you get peach you get apple the base of the fragrance is cedarwood and white musk I love a good white musk fragrance um, so most of the Monseras that you will hear me talk about is gonna probably have some kind of either sandalwood or white musk in it but this is the uh, second one that I have to show today and it is wild fruit by Monsera okay Jardin exclusive Jardin exclusive was a blind buy. I heard a lot of people talking about this fragrance. It reminded them of a Jorgoff uh, fragrance. Uh, for right, forgive me, I can't. It's not coming to mind the fragrance uh, that this reminded other folks of. So it was a blind buy. Um, I I really want to call it Instagram made me buy it type fragrance. Thank God I got it. I was told from various different people, you know, there's mixed emotions. Some people say it has a pine saw opening. Some people say that it smells like cleaner. Other people are truly in love with it. Well, I am on the line of I am truly in love with it. This fragrance is beautiful. It is a unisex fragrance. It smells great on men as it smells on women. It is gorgeous. This fragrance opens up with the basket of fruits again, so that's probably why I like it. It's because it's fruity, <laughs> but it's a basket of fruit. It says sweet candy. It has uh, jasmine, rose, violet, uh, gray uh, um, amber. I don't know what gray amber is, but if that's what it is, I like it. So I might need to look for more gray amber. It has sandalwood, it has vanilla, it has white musk. So this fragrance is probably one, one of my favorites for the mere fact is the closure on it has both uh, of the two bases that I enjoy, which is sandalwood 
in white musk. Um, I dropped the top <laughs> and I don't want to bend down and get it and <laughs> disappear on the film. But it is Jordan exclusive. Great fragrance. This one here is Wild Cherry. Their Wild Lime by Monsera actually was one of my favorites. Uh, there was Wild Cherry. There was Wild Candy. It was Wild, um, I think wild fruit should have been in it but i don't know if it was in that collection or not but it was just when they came out with the wild collection uh they won me over i absolutely wanted to buy every last one of them but i tried to only get in my collection the fragrances i know that i'm going to wear um often i say i'm not a collector but i think in some ways i probably am a collector but i like to collect the fragrances that i love this is a love for me wild cherry in my opinion, knocks Tom Ford's Lost Cherry out of the water. If you want a cherry fragrance, a good, true, not um, car freshener cherry fragrance, Wild Cherry. Wild Cherry is amazing. It has black cherry, bergamot, lemon. It has iris, jasmine, patchouli, sweet helotrope. It has white musk. There go that white musk again vanilla and vanilla pods it is delicious this is delicious if you are looking for if i could say say i do my commercial right now if i can say you are looking for a a cherry fragrance wow cherry <laughs> go get it you're gonna love it i saved my favorite for last and, uh, I'm going to end up doing a part two that is going to have the remaining uh, six fragrances that I have from Monsera. But I could not let this first video of Monsera collection go without adding in Instant Crush. Instant Crush is why I do not have Baccarat 540 in my collection. Instant Crush is an easy reach if I just need something to wear I'm going out on a date I'm going out with my girlfriends I just want to have something on and I can't think I don't want to stand in front of the collection which often that's what I do is I stand in front of the collection try to pick out what to wear I go to instant crush I go to it so much that I have to sometimes push it in the back of the collection or just look over it because I love instant crush this is a jasmine, amber, vanilla, saffron gorgeousness. It is beautiful. And the reason why I said I have Instant Crush and I do not have Baccarat 540 is because when I bought Instant Crush, the hype for Baccarat 540 wasn't out yet. Right? Or if it was out, it hadn't hit my ears. So I was loving on this fragrance and wearing this fragrance. Uh, when Baccarat 540, I got a sample of it came, it was familiar to what Instant Crush smelled like. And I just didn't see why having two in my collection when I knew that I loved this one just as much. Um, eventually, probably, would I ever add Baccarat 540 in a, to my collection? I can't say yes or no. Uh, as long as I have an Instant Crush, I probably would say no. This has an opening of citrus fruit, it has saffron, it has ginger, it has rose, it has uh, Egyptian jasmine, it has amber. The amber is so sexy, so wonderful. It has sandalwood, it has oak moss, it has vanilla, it has white musk. If I have not proven to you that I love this fragrance, I am totally biased, I admit it, but Instant Crush is my go-to fragrance i love this fragrance so i'm looking on the monstera website at this time they are uh, for the fragrances that i'm interested in uh that i have not yet to add to my collection so if you have these fragrances in your collection please in the comments tell me about them so i know if i really do need to add them uh the first one and it's four of them the first one is purple flowers Purple flowers is interesting to me because I'm not really into floral scents that much. I have I have some, I do, but it's not my genre that I find that I stay in. Some people like florals. I happen to like gourmands and uh, ambers and very fruity uh, fragrances. But purple flowers is an interest for me because it has 
spices, um, nutmeg, ginger, black pepper, fig tree. I love a good fig. I don't have enough figs in my um, tree. Fig collections, fig fragrances, should I say, in my collection. Uh, Mandarin. It has rose. It has patchouli. It has cedar wood, gray amber, vanilla pies, and white musk. Uh, so purple flowers if you have it, please tell me about it The other one that I want to add to my collection is because I Got a sample of wild candy, which is what I want to add to my collection and Every time someone asks me what do you want for Christmas? What you want for your birthday? And I mentioned that I wanted wild candy Everyone kept buying me wild something else hence how I got wild fruits how I got wild cherry of which I talked about earlier in this video, I absolutely love. But initially and still, I would like wild cherry. Wild cherry has an opening of citrus notes, coconut, peach, cocoa beans, um, ylang ylang, rose, precious iris, benzoin, rich amber, white musk. It just sounds so good. And you would think with candy that it would have like a candy stickiness to it, right? But it doesn't. So that's why I'm so interested in it. And I have smelt it. I have I had a, a 10 mil of it. So I know that I enjoy it. But with the name, you would have thought that it would be candy-like. And it's not. Uh, another fragrance that, was, that I was interested in around the time when I got Velvet Vanilla was Holidays. And for whatever reason, I could never get it. I, I could never get Holidays. I can I will find pearl I will find every other fragrance but I would not find holidays holidays has sparkling bergamot is coconut it has tear flowers it has ylang ylang it has streams of marine I guess that's that aquatic smell that must be in it um, has sandalwood vanilla pies and white musk I really would like to get my hands on that one I'm not really an aquatic um, an aquatic fragrance type individual but I do feel like I need to get have something like that and my Sarah would be the best because you have coconut vanilla and aquatic notes in it and lastly um, this one just came out most recently and everyone's talking about it but yet I still haven't got my hands on it it is juicy flower and it has juicy pear red fruits citrus fruits it has pink pepper Precious Rose, Sweet Peach, Jasmine, Sandalwood, Gray Amber, Black Vanilla Pies, uh, Raspberry, and Powdery White Musk. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. I would love to have that. So if you have Purple Flowers, Wild Candy, Holidays, or Juicy Flowers in your collection, oh, please tell me more. Tell me more about them. Just off of reading the notes, I want them. But if you can give me more of an insight, I would love to hear that. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. Uh, today I talked about my Monseras. I'm going to do a part two for the remaining six. Um, I have a total of 11 in my collection, and I did five today. I'm gonna talk about the remaining six pretty soon. Uh, if you would love to hear about a different collection that you see behind me and want me to go through the ones that I have in my collection, tell me about it so that I can go ahead and put that in the lineup to discuss. I appreciate you coming to my channel. Uh, if you like this type of um, discussions, please subscribe, uh, share, uh, interact with me. I wanna interact and talk the same way that I do on Instagram. And if you want to know about what I have in my collection, if you go to Instagram, same name, Claudia Nari, you'll find where I have all my pictures, all my posting. I'll see you on the next video.